All right, so the project for today, or well, the next couple of days, is we have a beautiful two-story sunroom in the front, which I'm not sure if I've shown you guys yet, um, which is great for drying clothes, but they get in the way. So I decided I'm going to make a hanger on some pulleys to winch up into A, where the air is warmer, and B, get it out of our way. To do that, I need the ladder. Um, and you may not be able to tell, but the ladder is right here, because we got... Well, it was only supposed to be about five inches, but over here it looks probably close to a foot of snow. So I'm going to see if I can find where the actual ladder is. Ha, there's part of it. And then see if I can lift this out of here so we can use it today. Alright, let's see. That's a lot of snow on top of that. Yep, I'm going to have to dig that out. So. I'm going to grab the shovel, I'll be right back guys, once I get this ladder unburied. Alright, so I pretty much got it free at this point, I should be able to pull it up now. It's just to give you guys an idea. That is the amount of snow that fell since last night, and we are hovering right about freezing, so it's really heavy snow, as they call it, heart attack snow. If you notice I'm breathing pretty heavy, it's just because I pulled this out of the snow a second ago. But, let me see. I should now be able to find the very top of this ladder. Right here. Let's see if we can find the there's the top step. Get a hand under it. And there we go. Ice crust actually formed between each of the steps and kept a hollow under each one. Because the way the snow built up last night. Now I'm gonna have to put this in the sunroom and just let the water or the snow melt off of it. The tile floor out there with the floor drain, so. It'll be fine, but um, I can't do this whilst holding the camera. So I'm going to pull it out, get that last end out, get it inside, and go from there. Alright, well that was a quick thing before I go inside. I thought you'd get a laugh out of this, I just pushed it up to try and knock the snow off, and created a piece of modern art, I'm not sure. Um, or a new way to climb a ladder. The challenge part of me really does want to try and climb that, but it would end poorly, so... I'm going to knock that snow off. Ah, the joy of snow around freezing so sticky. Which I'm also going to stop filming because my camera's starting to get wet in this. Um, Alright, I'll show you the rest of the project in a minute. So, while the ladder dries, and or at least the snow melts off of it, um, I figured I'd start building the frame that I'm going to hoist up. So, doing just a rough and dirty build. It's another hour build, basically. Um, pocket holes. I know some people love them, some people hate them. I know they're not, don't have a place in fine cabinetry, but for throwing something quick together, I really don't care. Um, this is really quick, um, as you can see by the really crappy holes they drilled. Um, soft pine, don't get a clean hole anyway. So these are basically the end pieces. These holes are all going to have rope strung through it. There'll be one at that end, one at this end. Basically pocket hold onto there, like that, bit of glue, build a basic square frame. These hold up here are what are going to be, um, there's one on each side, that's the other one. Um, those will go up to a shackle and then up to the pulleys. Um, I put one on each side to keep it balanced instead of just one in the middle. Because if I put one in the middle it could do that if the laundry's not loaded. This should, because it's out by the last laundry lines tip slightly. I know the hole is off, I measured four inches from the end and then just ended up with an odd measurement down there, so that hole right there is just a little closer. Um, so I'm going to get this glued together and then I'll show you how I'm rigging it into the ceiling. Alright, so I'm just going to glue this on and put the couple of pocket hole screws in. doesn't have to be perfect, don't even really care if it comes out of square. It's going to be hung from a ceiling where nobody's really going to see it. When screwing into pine, I like to have the torque settings set, um, 
thing, so that way you don't just tear straight through and end up messing it all up. This is particularly soft pine. This was in the bargain bin at a local hardwood store or lumber store. It wasn't even a hardwood store, it was just a big box store. Um, but it was 70% off, and just because it had a little bit of twist and knots in it, but for things like this, why pay a fortune? These would have been $20 pieces of wood, full price, I paid like four. So it's always good to have the torque setting on the drill. I have it set at six because it's like I said, it's pretty soft wood and it just stops you driving all the way in. Um, so I'm going to get the rest of this glued up and I'll show you when it's done. All right, so here's the laundry rack. I got it stringed up. And basically, you'll hang the clothes in the middle. And then the ropes go up, there's one on each end. The pulley way up in the ceiling up there. Which comes across both of them to a double pulley. That then comes all the way down to a cleat down here. I need to get a bigger cleat. I'll make a bigger cleat probably. Um, but what I'm thinking is eventually I'm either going to put a winch or a pulley or a block and tackle of some description because it, it's reasonably heavy already to pull up. But as you can see it's reasonably stable even if I put weight on one side. It's going to not flip. So there's a couple of basic bits of rigging and I can say in the future I might replace the rope with cable and put some kind of electric winch on there. Solar powered. Enough sun in this room if you're drying clothes. Um, that way it's easier to get up and down. But for a quick one-hour build, it'll do and gets the laundry out of the way of this room, so we can use this for growing the seedlings in for spring. Um, if you're hearing some noise in the background, we got a recent addition to the farm of six ducks who we've named all of them Steve because that's how we roll. Uh, but I'll probably do a video on them at some point. So I'll just at least show you that we've got them. They're already twice the size they were when we first got them a week ago. A lot more personality than chickens. A lot more fun to play with. I'm trying to get them very socialized so they're nice and friendly when they're adults. So that's about it. I'll catch up with you guys later.